What's going on guys, this is Bobby Douglas and this is just part two of the Evan Mobley video breakdown, so let's get right into it. It's a little bit blurry here for the first few seconds, but it gets better, so I apologize for that in advance, but it'll get progressively better, and it's already pretty good now. So again, we talked about how in the first half, Mobley's defensive gravity is really going to be what sells me early on in his NBA career, and that's why I have him in the top three position right now on my big board. I think I have him third. And then offensively, he just kind of has all the skills kind of needed. He's shown the flashes of every single skill as he knocks in that uh, patented over the left shoulder uh, little push shot in the lane. He has all the offensive skills, really, to just be a very, very good offensive player. And then combine that with his all-NBA defense, and you have yourself probably a multiple-time all-star if everything really clicks. So, you know, with Mobley, he's the rare exception for me to have a big guy this high, but I just, I really buy his long-term potential, and I think he could just fill so many roles in the NBA that he's going to find success in some way or another. Decent contest out of drop coverage by Mobley right there, but the Cal guy just made a pretty de a pretty difficult shot, so um, not much to complain about there. USC used him a lot in drop coverage, but, but he did show flashes of being able to switch out and guard perimeter players a little bit um, better than maybe you would anticipate. And so, you know, you see him a lot in drop coverage, but um, he can be a little bit more versatile, I think, in the NBA. And depending on the team that drafts him, um, he might have to be. See right here, here he is on the ball, out on a perimeter. And again, he just kind of uses that, like, spider-like length, right, to really just kind of disrupt handlers on the perimeter. And again, you can't really shoot over him because of that length. And again, another decent contest as um, Cal misses that shot. And here he is out on the perimeter, not much going on. But he's going to step out, and let's see if he hits this three. And again, picture-perfect form, really nice, soft release, I think. And he knocks down that pick, that kind of pop-out three. And again, that's the type of thing that makes Mobley so dangerous offensively, is that he can be a really effective pick-and-roll guy and a pick-and-pop guy. Um, because he has that length, that athleticism, the finish lobs, um, finish through traffic once he gets a little bit stronger. And then if he really continues to work on that offensive shot, then all of a sudden, like, how do you stop this guy in pick and roll, right? So just those types of things, you kind of have to be looking forward with Mobley rather than at the present, but he does show the flashes as he does right there with this three-pointer that we'll see one more time. And again, the form's perfect. The rotation on the ball is great. Easy shot for him. And so again, here he is in drop coverage again. Good job being in two places at once, as I've mentioned several times before. So again, right there, like they hit the shot. And I think there was a foul. Actually, no, there might have been a whistle there. But Moby does tend to fall asleep a little bit under the defensive glass. I think sometimes he gets body out of his way a little bit too often. Um, and so that's something that I think he needs to work on. But that'll come with more strength training and things like that. And here he is. Good job slipping that pick and roll. And let's see how he does in the post. So again, right there, really nice turnaround fade. I would like to see him maybe go up with his left hand with that little baby hook. But um, he doesn't get that one there. But again, still, I do think he has, like, the like the eye test tells me that he's going to be a pretty good player out of the post um, once he gets a little bit more diverse with his moves. So here he is out on the perimeter again. Looks like Cal's kind of going a little bit inverted with their sets right now. Again, here's Mobley. Good drop, drop coverage. And again, really nice shot containing. Um, I think that's uh, Matt Bradley. He can't get a single. He can't get a look over Mobley and at least a shot clock violation. So, again, just really nice job containing and just kind of letting the play unfold in front of him and then making a decision as to how he wants to attack it. Right there, good job getting on the offensive glass, and then he ends up drawing a foul there. So that's a really good play by Mobley. And, again, if he really commits to just kind of hounding the glass, I think he could be a really, really uh, difficult force to stop just because of that length. Again, really nice shot fake, attacks the closeout, and it looks like we had a foul on the ground, but... Again, attacks the closeout right here, and he draws this defender over, and he's going to find his brother for an easy layup had there not been a foul call. And again, like that's the type of thing that like you don't really see a lot of big men doing, creating for themselves off the dribble, and then utilizing their own self-created advantage to find open teammates. And so that's like the kind of like you know Kevin O'Connor says that Mobley's one of the rare big men that has true like go-to scoring potential. And those are types of plays, although he's not really taking the shot there. Um, those are types of plays that really kind of hammer that fact home. We got Isaiah Mobley with a miss right there, and here comes Cal. You got a screen again. 
Mobley dropping and then recovering back to his man. USC's defense was really good this year, just all around. You know, obviously you have Mobley right there, another pretty wacky closeout right there. So um, we'll watch it here again. Like, this is where I think he needs to be a little bit more, um, you know, kind of locked in a little bit right here. There's no reason to be, like, contesting this shot. And you can see he's off balance. His feet aren't square, you know, and this allows number 10 for Cal to go right by him. So, again, just be a little bit more, you know, like, attention to detail, like, you know, like, be a little bit more disciplined when he's kind of contesting those shots. Because the fact of the matter is, like, not a lot of these uh, shooters are going to be attempting that catch-and-shoot three if they, if they see Evan Mobley coming after him, right? So he kind of needs to recognize his own power in a way. And um, just kind of, you know, uh, just, uh, uh, you know, kind of temper that and realize that he is, like, too good of a shot blocker in a way to the point where he needs to be able to close out effectively and keep people in front of him. We got Drew Peterson on the three. Good tip out by Mobley right there. And again, he's just kind of, like, shifty. He's kind of spindly in a way where it's like he kind of worm his way through certain holes on the floor and, you know, like, his arms allow him to kind of, like, reach out and, like, get tips, get offensive rebounds. And you can see right here, I think this is going to be a, oh, that's going to be a block, I think, yeah. But he's kind of worm-like, you know, where he kind of just slithers into certain holes. Right here, he tripped, slipped something. And that's a really nice, I, did they call it travel, I think? I think they call it travel. Um, you know, he slipped, there's a whole little thing here. But again, good shake and bake right here. He just got unlucky with his footing. And again, that could be a carry, it could be something, but he actually finishes the move. I think it's a turnover, though, so. But overall, I did like the activity there. Again, Mobley's still kind of just in that painted area. And so right there, again, like, listen, Mobley doesn't really have a huge impact on this play, but just, like, the threat, right, like, forces this little awkward runner, right, and um, it's going to be an air ball, and it leads to a, basically, a turnover for Cal. And that's all because, like, you know, Mobley's length is so threatening that it's really hard to even picture yourself going up against him one-on-one. -on -one. Like, not everybody can be Ja Morant. Like, I don't know if you guys have been watching that Utah-Memphis series at all, but Ja Morant, every single time, Every single time, like, he he gets an open lane, he is he wants to dunk, like, hard on Rudy Gobert, right? And so, you know, like, not everybody's like that, though. And so Mobley's going to have a very nice, uh, very nice career doing um, Rudy Gobert-like things. Right here, though, like, you could sell the high center of gravity, kind of gets him as long as, uh, as well as the lower leg strength, right? So you could see him right here, he kind of gets blindsided, right? Pretty much shoved out of his area. And so he needs to be a little bit more balanced, a little bit more firm in his stance because people are going to start coming after him if they realize that they can kind of knock him off his spots, right? So he just needs to be like kind of like head on a swivel at all times just to see like, you know, he kind of has to like, if you think about it like the, if, I don't know if you guys watch Harry Potter, right? I just watched like a bunch of Harry Potter movies over the weekend, but um, the bludgers, right? Like, you know how like the, broom, the people on the brooms, they have to be really careful about the bludgers, you know, head on a swivel at all times. Mobley has to think of the other players like bludgers and that they're always going to be coming for him, right? So he needs to be able to mitigate those moves and, um, you know, just kind of just like be able to hold his ground. I want to replay here because I think we missed something here. Um, so I think Mobley's going to get the ball, top of the key. Yeah, okay. And again, you can see attacks to close out really well, takes those one to two Giannis-like steps, just can't finish. And that'll come as he gets a little bit more like, you know, seasoned. Um, with his offensive game and his overall, like, perimeter-oriented offensive game, right? But um, that's something that I think could be very good. Let's see what he does here. And again, that's the type of pass that Mobley can make. So it's an and one, and let's watch this. So again, it's high-low action. Mobley loves passing to his brother out of this, too. So again, top of the key, he immediately knows where the ball's going to go. It's going to be a little fake screen and uh, slip, right? And Mobley's just going to curl to the basket, and Mobley's going to find him right on the money. And again, that's just a really, really smart heads-up play that you don't see a lot of big men making. And um, he's going to get an and one out of it. So again, just kind of like the full package offensively in spurts for Mobley. And then defensively, obviously, you know, generationally gifted, I would say. Here's Mobley out on the perimeter. And again, when he's on the ball and he's kind of like locked in, like he's pretty good in terms of his stance. You can see them just switch that right here. And Mobley's doing a really nice job containing that dribbler, 
and he ends up not getting being able to go anywhere. So that's a really good possession, really good defensive stand by Mobley. And now there's five seconds on the shot clock. And Cal's going to hit that three. Mobley, I think, was a little bit... Um, so right here, we're going to see Mobley rotate a little bit too much. So, so again, right here, there's going to be a post-touch. And so I get what Mobley's trying to do, but he comes too far over, right? I get that he has to take over this guy. But then again, he's leaving this wide-open shooter. And so that's kind of a tough like place where he kind of has to sell two places at once, and they're too spread out. Um, kind of a breakdown by USC in the initial post defense, but Mobley kind of has to read that a little bit better, I would say. Um, but not entirely his fault by any stretch. So here we go. Mobley's going to cut to the basket. Looks like not much going on. You got a three-point attempt, and that's going to go for USC. So again, you can see Mobley um, out on the perimeter a little bit more in this half. He's guarding different types of players. Um, right there, not really involved on that on that possession for USC defensively. Drew Peterson kicks out to Mobley, and then those are the types of shots that he can get, and like he needs to be able to hit those. Right there, he just kind of short-armed it a little bit, and it led to a very short jumper. But those are shots that Moby's going to need to hit to really just kind of drive home his three-level scoring. See right here, good job freeing himself out of that slip. And again, good find for the open three. Again, notices the cutter coming around. It looks like a flare screen from the post. And then um, just, you know, finding that open shooter. See what we got here, ball screen. Moby, good job dropping and recovering. And again, that's just a tough shot. Not much he can really do there, um, just in terms of scheme. The Cal guy just made a pretty good shot. We got Mobley coming up on the perimeter. Let's see what he does here. So he's looking for something. Can't really get anything going. He's going to take it himself, dribble, and that's just... That's a pro move right here, okay? Like, he's handling the ball, two, like, three dribbles. He's crossing guys over, gets the spin move off, and he finishes with that little 12-foot uh, jumper. That's, that's like, that's what you see in Mobley, right? Like, that's kind of the, the full pro. That's, like, offensively, that's, like, the full package with him right there. That possession shows you why I and so many other evaluators think he could be so good in the NBA because who's stopping that 7-foot guy shooting that far up, right? So... Just a really, really just smart, smart player um, and skilled, as we saw on that play. So he's going to set that little pin down for his brother, and now he's going to try and get post position. Let's see what he does here. So again, I've... Ooh, looked like there was... Maybe have, maybe it was an opening right there. Moby couldn't really get anything... Um, for himself, kicks out to an open three-point shooter. Not a bad play. Um, maybe would have liked to see him attack that a little bit more, um, try and get his own shot. But um, that'll come as he gets more aggressive and more confident in his ability. Um, right now, as I mentioned in the first half video, he's very passive. So, um, you know, like just being aggressive and kind of like knowing his role as a scorer will definitely be something to work on. Right here, he kind of does a bad job defensively rotating. So you can see him right here. He wants to kind of spin around. But he gets sealed off by this guy. And so, again, goes back to the lower body strength, just the overall, like, aggression. Um, he needs to be able to fight through that and at least give somewhat of a contest. We got ball screen right here. I don't know what happened. Cal just totally botched that ball screen coverage. We got somehow no foul. Mobley, really nice job stepping through. That's a really, again, just... The instincts right here is just, they're just phenomenal, right? So Mobley is going to realize that there's nothing up here, right? And he sees this little gap opening. He uses that length, that gazelle-like gracefulness, right? He's just going to step through right here and finish with the left hand. Really, really impressive move by Mobley. Really, really good. And again, it looks like somewhat like simpler, right? You know, like it doesn't look like it's that cool of a play or that like um, impressive, but it's, it's the instincts for a guy his size. Um, it's just, they're just spectacular in my view. 
So again, right here, Mobley a little bit late to uh, recognize where his man is, but he ultimately gets out there. It looks like he wanted to try and chase that weak side block, but he couldn't get it. Three by USC there. So then right here, Mobley, good job tagging that cutter off the screen and then kind of just ro rotating back to his man. Just Mobley again. Again, that length allows him to kind of stunt at the ball despite being at the near side corner shooter, which you're not supposed to leave, obviously. Um, but that length, he kind of can just kind of spread his arms out and just be somewhat effective in stunting. We got a foul and one for USC. This USC team was actually, like, so fun to watch. They really hit their stride, um, you know, around the tournament. And, you know, I actually had them in the Elite Eight. They were one of my three correct Elite Eight picks. Um, you know, I just thought their region, their sub-region was so vulnerable that I thought USC with Mobley and then the defense and the, you know, the clutch guard shot making, right? Like, I thought they could make a run, and they did. Um, you know, like, a very successful season for Mobley, too. Like, just... You know, getting your team to the Elite Eight as the best player on a team when you're a freshman, right? Especially as a big guy, um, where so many other big guys at USC, namely Onyeko Okongwu, right? Um, you know, they kind of struggle to get involved. But, um, you know, Mobley didn't really have that uh, issue. And you can see right there, he was wide open on that pop, right? And so, like, even if he's just extending his range to 18 feet early on, you know, just at the top of that three, like the high school level three, like even if you can hit those shots, it just spreads out the defense so much that it's just really, really hard to stop. And even if he doesn't get the ball, it's going to leave something open, right? So the defense can't take away everything. So if Mobley's just well-versed in doing everything, like something's going to be open through him, right? And you can see him right here kind of ripping running, um, bringing the ball up the floor, pretty, pretty confident in his handle in the open floor, I would say. Um, it gets more when he's trying to like beat a guy off the dribble in the half court. We've seen a few times um, where he's able to do that, but overall, that's probably where he kind of struggles the most in terms of his handle. But I think there's enough like raw potential there to be encouraged. Um, you can see right here again, Mobley on the perimeter. He's been getting just number 15 in, the, in a lot in the second half. I think um, they switched him. He was on 22 a lot, and he's kind of getting um, bullied a little bit physically. Got a steal by USC. I don't think that was Mobley, but he was on the ball. I think that was Isaiah White who made that play. And again, you can see him fighting through that screen. So here he is on the ball. Again, Cal's kind of moving it around, trying to get that post touch to Matt Bradley. And not much going on. Six on the shot clock. Let's see what they get. That's, oh, that's brutal. Two seconds left on the shot clock. And he had a foul. Number 13 for USC, Drew Peterson. I actually, um, so he started his career at, at Rice. And um, let's see what Moby does here. Can't snag that rebound. But he actually started his career at Rice. Um, he went to a high school near me, Libertyville High School, and so my high school would host a Thanksgiving tournament every year, and we actually saw him play, and it's like several times. And um, he was he would be dropping like thirty eight points in these high school games, and everyone thought he was like really good. And then so we found out he was going to Rice, and obviously two years later, I think he transfers to USC, and he ended ends up being a starter and I think a double digit scorer for the Trojans this past year. So I mean, good for him. But he was a stud in high school. He's not an NBA guy or anything like that, but. He was really, really good in high school, um, from what I saw. There are a lot of guys like that, too, who I saw in high school, and then they kind of just make a name for themselves. Like uh, Admiral Schofield, I saw him play in high school when I was, like, 13. Um, Nozell Eastern, obviously, I saw him play when he was at Evanston. Here's Mobley again right there. Can't really get the strength off. And again, right there, like, so right here, this is a perfect exam perfect time to go up with your left hand and kind of just use that frame to kind of work around your defender and just do a nice little baby hook with your left hand but again he tries to force it with this kind of double clutch uh pull up jumper and again if he just uses his left hand there like it's very much it gets much easier for Mobley so that's something to work on I would say just get more confident with his left hand because I think 
he has like the natural coordination with that hand. Like we saw it on the defensive end in the first half where he blocked two consecutive shots with that left hand. But then offensively, it's, he seems a little bit more um, hesitant to go there. But then just that opens up an entire other end of the floor for him um, in terms of scoring the ball. And so I think that's something that he really should be uh, focused on. And here we go. Again, they're going to try and get Mobley that post-touch. See what he does here. And again, right there. Hey, he went with his left hand. And, oh, he couldn't make the layup. But I appreciate that he went with his left hand. Okay, watch this. So, again, like right here, he's going to get a nice post-touch. And he's going to go over his right shoulder this time and go up with his left hand, right? And, again, really nice job. You know, and that shot's going to fall. We saw him miss a bunny like that and with his right hand as well. But, again, I, I like that he's willing to go up with his left hand, especially after that last possession where he probably realized that his left hand was wide open. So I know that he missed a shot, but I appreciate the effort right there. And again, good job fighting for that loose ball, getting the jump ball. I think that's going to be uh, USC ball. So he ends up getting another possession um, for his team. And there's Isaiah Mobley not making that shot. I think Isaiah Mobley actually has an outside chance at being a pro too. Um, if he comes back next year, I think he could be like first team all Pac-12. Um and really maybe solidify himself as like a second round guy. But I'm really, I actually like him a lot. He showed me, he showed me a lot in the tournament. So Mobley still hasn't come out yet, which is pretty impressive considering he's a big guy. Usually they don't, they aren't in the best shape. Um, but Mobley looks pretty good despite having played the, fir like the first 15 and a half minutes here in the, um, in the second half. And here he is getting another post. Let's see what he does here. Again, right here, good job ripping through. And again, he's going to draw that foul. Really nice job by Mobley. Again, just kind of utilizing that length and that just kind of agility in the lane. And he's able to draw the foul right here. Yeah, really nice job. And he's going to shoot some free throws here. We'll watch him. It's going to rattle home. And again, the shot for him, like, I have no issues with that whatsoever. Um, you know, I think he's good. You can see him right here. He's got 18. Six, three, and two. Like that's a that's a crazy good line, and he finishes with twenty five and eight. So just keep that in mind. And I think he's going to uh, make this one as well, and I think he's out for a little bit. Yeah, makes that one. Then he's going to check out for like a minute of YouTube time. He's not out for a while. And then he's in at one hundred three forty five. So I'll go right here, and we got Bobby's back in for the final three and a half minutes. So again, he gets a quick maybe a minute long break and then he's back in for the remainder of the game and he's going to score another seven points in this last three minute stretch here so you know stay tuned for this i want to see what he does i want to see how he scores here okay so let's see so he's going to get the ball in that on that elbow area and again good job just kind of creating that contact and again on the offensive end it kind of like helps him in a way on the perimeter because he's so like kind of not weak but he's not strong lower body so like if he gets bumped he's going to fall down and so that leads to a lot of calls that maybe like a bigger, stronger guy wouldn't get. Um, and you saw that right there. Um, I think that's a foul regardless, but the way he exaggerates that and he can fall down, like that's a very impressive uh, thing to have. He rattles home that free throw right there. And here is the second one. Let's see if he makes that. There's Mark Fox, I believe is his name. Cal coach. Yeah, there we go. And Moby makes two out of two once again. So, again, reliable from the line in this game. You know, this these are, like, tough baskets. I haven't even really been paying attention to the score, but this is a close game. You know, and that's kind of impressive considering that Cal was a pretty shitty team this year. Um, and this was before USC hit their stride. Um, again, Mobley right here. So, Cal's going to hit this three. But um, you can see, like, instead of going up for this layup, right, Mobley's right here. Granted, you know, this leads to a scramble situation, but Mobley makes the right read here. It's Drew Peterson's responsibility to kind of close out that shooter, and then it's like a three-on-two for Cal. And they utilize it, but again, like just you know, preventing that shot, the rim Mobley does a nice job of. Um, but unfortunately, the shot goes in for Cal. And here he is, going to set a high ball screen. And again, another one right there, just kind of back him down. And here's Mobley again. Let's see what he does. Again, good no call there. Great no call. That's a flop warning. Yep, good. So Mobley, you can tell the touch on those like hook shots. Um, Probably doesn't extend past, like, 8 feet, I would say. Um, you can see that one was a pretty bad miss. We'll watch it again here, but it hits the glass. Oh, we're not going to see it, I guess. 
but um, hits the glass, not really close. So again, like just kind of extending that range on those little one-handed push shots, um, that could be pretty um, effective for Mobley, I would say. But again, just like all the tools needed, I think, to be a very, very productive and high-level NBA player. I think his ceiling is obviously like generationally gifted big man. So um, not necessarily in the Joel Embiid role, but more in like the Anthony Davis type. Um, where I think he could be a very, very strong number two, maybe not a number one, just because of the way the game is played now. Um, but I, I really am high on Evan Mobley, I would say. And here we go. We got Isaiah Mobley right there. Just going to put in work, get that shot to go. Uh, USC up four in the last two minutes here. Nothing going on there, and Cal's going to get the rebound and see what happens. Put him in a foul. Good job by Mobley kind of recovering, and the entire USC team did a really nice job recovering. Again, this defense was so good, um, especially later in the year. Good no foul call there. We don't like those. We don't like those fouls. Matt Bradley, kind of a flopper in these last three minutes, not going to lie. He had that fake charge call on Evan Mobley, and then he, he fell down on that three. Got USC ball, it looks like. I think I'm probably going to cut through, and here he is. Let's see what he does here. Dribble handoff. He's going to reject it. That's such a good pass by Mobley. Holy shit. And then right there, open. Oh, he can't get it to go, but just great instincts by Mobley right here. Again, looks like it's going to be a turnover, right? But he's able to draw this defender in and find the open shooter right here. Can't knock it down. Just kind of like the swim move and then a quick dart out to number 20. Like, that's next level stuff right and then you know this three obviously isn't taken but then it's like a you know whatever um you know drop down to evan mobley who's going to shoot more free throws but again just really really high level stuff and you can see he's 10 of 11 so he's going to miss two out of his next four so that's not ideal in the last minute of the game oh it rattles out and then let's see if he hits this one don't go over two don't pull a luka Doncic. Oh, Evan. Oh, what a shame. Offensive rebound, though. And here we go. We're just going to run down the clock. No reason for Cal to foul, I would say. Um, let's see what happens here. Yeah, not much going on. Taj E kind of just controlling the floor. Cal misses it. Mobley with the rebound. And again, nice job. Yeah, that's, that's really smart by Evan Mobley. Again, he could tell he kind of didn't want to shoot it. Maybe kick it back out. But, like, when you have that type of... Um, when you have that type of advantage, like, you're bound to just make that shot, like, just go for it. Right here, Moby got a little bit turned around on defense, and you can see right here, maybe you want him to step up a little bit earlier, but instead it's Taj Edi, and Moby probably doesn't want to foul there, I kind of get that, um, but even at the beginning, he was kind of turned around, kind of just, um, you know, chasing his tail a little bit. Got a foul here, and now we play the free throw game. Got 23 seconds left. Mobley out on the perimeter. Let's see what happens here. Oh, doesn't go in. Decent contest by Mobley. You can tell he doesn't want to foul there. So um, that's like, you know, just kind of smart defense. Um, USC's up six, so there's really no advantage to really just going up four in that situation, I would say. Because um, if you make your free throws, game's over. I think he, uh, yeah, he made the first one, made the second one. So um, clutch free throws by Mobley there to close this game out. We got seven, six, five, and that'll end it. So I'm just going to pause it here. That ends up, that ends the Evan Mobley uh, video breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a brutal one for me to film because I did the entire first half video on Monday, and I accidentally didn't save it. So then I had to redo it all uh, yesterday morning, and I did the second half today. So I am going to try and get back on track with doing these, like, both parts one and two on the same day. But right now I'm just kind of trying to catch up a little bit. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Evan Mobley breakdown. Again, top three guy in the class for me, no question. Um, you know, I think he could end up being two, um, but right now I'm probably more comfortable with him at three. Um, but overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon for the next full game breakdown, and stay well. Thanks.